Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I popped into the truck real quick because it's a little gustier than uh, I think I looked at on the weather uh, channel. Uh, so I wasn't sure how the audio was going to be and I have some new uh, new equipment so I wanted to make sure we were good to go because this first part's very important to me. So before I talk about what's going to happen on the channel, what's been happening um, in the last couple months over the winter and everything, there's four individuals who don't want to be named, but I wanted to make sure that I gave them a shout out um, over the winter while I wasn't doing anything, while I really wasn't posting anything on social media um, for my channel and everything. They kind of popped in and, and wanted to know, you know, what's going on? Are you okay? Like words of encouragement and everything. And it kind of caught me off guard because I'd only dropped one video. And it was like, you guys don't, nobody really knows me. And uh, these four people were, were like, well, we like what you've been doing, which it was one video. Uh, so that was interesting. Uh, but we want to see more of Montana. And we enjoyed the one video and we hope that you're not, you're not giving up. And, and I was, uh, I was very touched by it. It was, it kind of came out of nowhere and I appreciate it. So, uh, they didn't want their names named. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep those wishes. We're not going to name them, but we're going to thank them a lot. Um, cause it, again, it, it meant a lot to me. So, so what's been going on? So I came home after my first video, uh, felt really good. It was kind of awkward. I'm still learning a lot of stuff and you know, edited, dropped it, had a lot of support and everything. More support than I even thought I was going to, you know, with one video. And had like three videos right out of the gate that I had planned. Had like all the food planned and everything, where I was going to be. I mean, down to like what outfits I was going to wear, everything. Well, and then life happens. Uh, it snowed, because it's Montana, <clears throat> you know. Uh, and then my stable job which I never thought would become unstable or that would be in jeopardy, started to become unstable and not secure. So as of right now, uh, it's not w back to being 100% secure and stable, but it's a lot better than what it was. So in that time, you know, you start to have doubts. I started thinking, should I be doing this? Should I be spending this money to do this? And I kind of kind of got things a little better at work and thought, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. What's the worst that can happen? You know, nobody watches these. Oh, well. So, uh, today we're going to tent camp. As you saw, I was unloading the truck. We are going to tent camp. I got some new gear. I want to try out some new stuff. You saw Max running around. Uh, he got hit by the chair cause he's a dork. Apologies to my boy. Uh, yeah. Stay clear next time, buddy. Uh, and then what are we going to do moving forward? So the three videos that are going to drop on this channel, this one and the next two are literally the three videos I had planned way back in October. So nothing has changed. I'm just a little, I'm a little late to getting everything done. So I'm going to get everything set up. We're going to go through some new gear. Um, in the next two videos, I have more gear. I didn't want to all just pile it into one. So I'm going to set the tent up. Um, I have electrical because we're in the backyard and uh, we're going at a little extra bougie. So we're going to get the crock pot out. We're going to make a little meal in the morning. I don't know that I'm going to have breakfast, but uh, I got my Keurig. So we're going to have, we're going to have coffee and uh, we're going to take advantage of the of electricity. So hang tight and uh, let's go get that. Uh, let's go get that tent set up. Right, so we're gonna do a little crock pot meal. Hey, get your nose back. Right. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but it seems pretty simple. So, um, and my crock pot is a little how do I put it? Um, unbalanced. So, it says two hours on high, four hours on low. It'll pretty much be two hours on low for mine. So, um, just putting a little frozen cheese crumbing on the bottom here. Right in there. Get this little bad boy already on. So, and then you can, oh, can you guys see that? 
diced uh, tomatoes with the basil, garlic, and oregano. Now you can put your own seasoning in it, of course. I chose to follow the exact instructions because then I know if I want to change anything, where to go from the base. Hey, get your nose out of my way. I gave you a peanut butter filled uh, bone over there. Why don't you go wander over there? Thank you. That's on there. I need my hat, so I'm gonna have to get my hat soon. Okay, and then it said vegetable broth, but I went ahead and just went with chicken because you know who cares? How big deal? So the whole I won't let that crawl away. So down there. And I already remembered I didn't bring a spoon. Back up, please. Sure, I'll give you a little bit. Okay, so then it said a whole thing of cream cheese. And I just on the top there. And there, squishy, squishy. Fresh spinach. Now, I know you don't like this. So, go on and get out of here. And I realize I just touched my dog, but a lot. <laughs> it's all in the fan. Are you gonna eat it? Maybe? No. We were like, nah, that stuff's nasty. So, alright. So, this cook and perfect and we'll check in a little bit okay, all right guys so I got uh, I got dinner cooking and uh, as soon as I get everything set up in the tent and everything we'll sit down and have a little drink and just kind of enjoy the peaceful outside as you can hear max is just absolutely panting up a storm because he's been running all over the place and being a little dork but this was this was much needed i know this isn't the mountains but being out here and getting some what i like to call green noise Instead of all the white noise of life, some green noise um, has already made me feel a lot better today. Uh, so yeah, so we're just going to get everything in the tent and then we're going to talk about some of the new gear and kind of go from there. Alright guys, we are in the tent. Oh, bye Max. I guess you didn't want to be in this section. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, so... I changed up my setup just a little bit. If you guys remember from the very first video, I had a uh, cot and everything. Um, so now I'm going to try the big air mattress. This is a, a dual one, so we'll see how big this is. I decided to go with this um, simply because when it was so cold, I'm kind of mother heading on this one. I know Max was okay. Um, the second night we were out, I know that he actually got off his bed and was just laying on the, the squares right here. He had gotten so warm. So even though it was below freezing, he was not. Now I was, um, so I'm taking steps to figure out how to keep myself warm. Uh, we're not going to have that problem tonight. I think the low is going to be like 40, 42, somewhere around there. Um, so I should be good. So we're going to get this set up. I'm going to get the um, sleeping bag on here too. And then I'm going to go through that a little bit more. Get way better lighting in here uh, to talk about a little bit more. I know some people had asked me for the next one um, to do it when we had better lighting so I could explain it a little better. Uh, so we'll, we'll get that done and we'll be back in just a second. 
All right, guys. So I've been inflating my supposed self-inflating mattress for probably an hour now. This is exactly why we do dry runs. So I don't know if because I had it stored all this time and never, never pulled it out and never inflated it right away after getting it, if this is why I'm having problems, but it's definitely not inflating up as much as it should. It's supposed to have, um, it's actually supposed to have pillows at the top and that is not happening. So probably going to have to go get the foamy that I always have, um, when I do the cot sleeping and then go from there. Cause I can already tell this is not going to be enough. This is not going to be comfortable enough. Like Max is going to be, going to be great. He's going to love this. But me on the other hand, I, uh, I definitely need a little more a little more support, a little more cushion. So, again, this is why we dry run stuff. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Don't fall. Okay, cream cheese is getting, getting incorporated a little bit. Not bad. So, looking pretty good. Smells really good. So I'm going to steal a cheesy tortilla or a cheese tortellini. Mm -hmm. Yep, so just needs a little bit longer. Should be good to go. Just a little bit. All right, guys, I popped into the tent real quick. Um, I got family over. I'm doing a little multitasking. So um, this was tonight's family dinner. Um, turned up really well. Um, cheese tortellini soup. I already know what I want to do differently. Um, obviously, this is a bowl from the house. I would not take this camping at all. I'm going to go in, spend a little time with the fam, and then I will come back out with you guys. And we're going to do a dessert and tonight's drink which i didn't drink the last episode so this is something we're gonna we're gonna start when we're tent camping i don't know we're gonna do this when we are truck camping but anyways uh i'm gonna go uh get this uh handled and then i'll be back all right guys it's time for a little bit of dessert so this is, oh boy, basically like a walking s'more. So this recipe kind of came out of necessity because it always seems like we have a fire ban. So it's not very much fun roasting your marshmallow over your propane stove. So this is kind of what came from it. So obviously you should probably use the golden gram, teddy grams, whatever they're called. Um, in the bag. That's why they're supposed to be walking, but I actually don't like those. I use the Kodiak brand um, graham crackers and this one's cinnamon. Um, I didn't have honey, but this one works for just as well. So, it's so a little bit of just a little marshmallow cream, marshmallow fluff, whatever you want to call it, that never gets off your spoon, by the way. <laughs> A little bit of mini chocolate chips. And I eat this like a dip because I'm, I guess, weird. Um, I eat a lot of things like a dip, so that's kind of why. These. So, it also comes in handy when it's just you. Because I don't know how many times I bought the big old box of golden graham, you know, graham cracker you know, the flats and everything, and it's gone stale because I couldn't eat it fast enough, so. Um, and then I could always find, I could always find uses for the rest of the, the bag of marshmallows, of course. So, get you, get you a little bit of stuff here, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Tip it a little bit. So, yeah. Love it. 
And then today's drink, um, this is distilled out of Billings. It's uh, by Trowhead Spirit. This is their Highwood, the Cherrywood Smoked Malt Whiskey. Um, I cheated. I already um, made myself a drink in there and everything. So I like mine with um, a little bit of 7-Up and then I got a couple um, maraschino cherries in there and then a little bit of the juice and everything. So um, yeah, so cheers everybody. I'm gonna sit and Enjoy, enjoy this, enjoy my dessert, and enjoy the lovely sunset I got going on. So, here we go. All right, guys, uh, we're getting ready to kind of tuck ourselves in. Um, Max is just kind of winding down and everything. So the, you can kind of see him. I'm going to figure some stuff out with the lights and everything. Oh, there he is. There's my big boy. Yeah. So that bed is probably going to be too hot for him. And he's going to end up probably sleeping on the floor. But we'll see how it goes. All right, so I think I'm just gonna watch a couple uh, YouTube videos. A couple of the um, young kids that I follow um, posted a couple um, videos, and I'm a patron uh, subscriber of one, so I got early access to his video that's gonna drop on Sunday. I'm taping on a Saturday for this one. Um, <clears throat> I will link a couple people that I watch and everything. Um, I know that a lot of my subscribers are from a specific um, YouTuber's uh, community like myself. And so there's a couple kids that I think uh, we should kind of maybe watch and everything. I know truck camping isn't everybody's cup of tea and most of these kids that uh, I've been watching and everything. Oh, I, okay, I apologize. I shouldn't call them kids. They're probably in their like early 20s and everything. Uh, so the young men uh, that I follow and everything, I will link their uh, channels in the description and everything. And if you guys would uh, be so kind as maybe just pop in. You guys don't have to subscribe and everything. Um, just maybe watch a couple videos, like, comment. Kind of help them out with the algorithm. Uh, we know that that... Uh, we all know that that algorithm is uh, quite interesting. Nobody understands it. Uh, sometimes it likes likes. Other times it really likes comments. Sometimes it's whole, it really likes shares. So... Just kind of trying to grow not only my community but um theirs too so uh, max and i are gonna probably be up for mm, probably about 30 35 more minutes and then we're just gonna call it night so i'll see you guys in the morning uh again we're gonna have electricity we're going super bougie on this uh on this episode and everything um but we'll talk about power banks because i am looking into one um so it's not gonna be weird that i would want to have my air fryer or occasionally have my um, Keurig coffee maker and everything. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the morning. So good night. All right. Good morning, guys. So it is windy again, of course. But the birds are, are chirping. Beautiful, beautiful blue Montana sky like always. So, yeah, so we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna finish up here. I'm gonna make a, a little bit of coffee and then we're gonna talk about, uh, I know I promised uh, the walkthrough on the sleeping bag, so we're gonna do that before we get out of here. Um, but yeah, let's get, get a little coffee in us this morning. So I told you we were gonna go bougie because, you know, we had the electricity. So this is my K-Mini and we're gonna talk about that pod that's sitting on top of that, uh, on top of that coffee maker. But first, can I tell you, the one thing I hate about this thing, look how short this cord is. Like why, why? Especially when all of my outlets in my kitchen, it won't reach it. I have to actually like pick this up and put it on something so that it reaches. Now, granted, this is not my kitchen 
coffee maker. This is the one that I use when I'm camping and everything, and I'm in my camper so it uses less space, but even then it doesn't even reach my, uh, my outlets and everything. So, all right, so let's talk about Keurigs. I know a lot of people don't like them because they're wasteful. However, I found this company, this is San Francisco Bay Coffee. They make these little pods and they fit all the Keurigs. And if yours is like the intelligent one, they have the little ring and everything you can put in it. So it like, um, so it like fakes it out basically. 90, oops, let's put that up right. 97% compostable and it's bio, biodegradable and everything. So I love my Keurig. I wanted to make sure that I could still use it and still be um, conscious of how much plastic we were putting in the environment. So, again, San Francisco Bay Coffee. Not sponsored. Love them. I use this all the time. So, let's get to make it. Now, this machine, if you guys have a Keurig, this one is way different. So, you just fill up your little reservoir with how much water you want. And then, I'm going to click the little bad boy down. I don't know if you guys can really see. It's blinking. So, it's actually ready. So, there you go. But it takes a while for it to, to actually spit out any coffee. So basically it just sucked all the water in. It's heating all that water. So this really is a single cup machine. And of course, as you see, all my cups, these are Tervis cups. All my cups do not fit, but you know, we make do. So it takes like about two minutes, I think it said. And then it, uh, it'll brew out the, the coffee here. So we just gotta awkwardly stand for this for like two minutes like this. So while we're waiting, uh, Max and I had a really nice sleep um, last night. This is pretty much, um, you know, what the body and the soul needed last night was just get outside and get a little more fresh air. Although my allergies are murdering me right now. So um, gotta take the allergy med there we go perfect mm -hmm. almost there Perfect. And we're done. And of course it made a mess, but that's why I brought the paper towels out. So that's all right. All right, so I need to go grab my ice and my half and half. I'll be right back. All right guys, gotta finish up making coffee. Of course I had to go get Max too, because uh, we have a little, we have a little ritual every morning with our, with our coffee. So yeah, had to, had to make sure my boy wasn't neglected and everything so yep you're right here aren't you but they can't see you if you're over here come here over here hey over here come, here. come this way yeah they can't see you hold on that's too big here you go have that one good boy Get you a little bit of half and half. This is his favorite part because he is spoiled. He gets ice cubes with half and half on them every morning when we make coffee. Oh, Max. There's that wind again. Love it. Slapping all over the place. Hey, now, now, now. Put your little nose down.
That's 100% true, everybody. Not all those who wander are lost. Remember that. You know, a lot of people think a nomadic lifestyle is weird or that living in your vehicle, traveling around is odd. Ooh, that's pretty full. Hold on here. Hold on, we got a slurp. Got so many. All right, guys, we're in the tent. There's Max, and I promised I'd show you guys the the sleeping bag a little bit. So, again, this is the Kodiak canvas Z top, 20 degree. This is just the regular size one. There's actually. Um, I can't remember if it's longer or if it, I think it might be wider. Um, but this is the one that I chose and everything and um, kind of decided to go with this one because again, like I said in the first video, I am a side sleeper. And so I find, um, I find the mummy box to be very uncomfortable for me as a side sleeper. And I've tried a couple of the side sleeping bags and they still are just very uncomfortable to me. So this system kind of looked very interesting to me. So I'm gonna try to set you guys up here a little bit so I can point. Uh, well, maybe I'll just hold you out. Okay, so pocket for your pillow and everything so that um, you at least have the same um, fabric around you and everything. So just regularly, um, I didn't have this closed up. I slept just like this with my pillow. It was very nice last night. Um, but if it does get colder, as you can see right here, this is like your head tunnel. And so we'll flip this over. And what ends up happening, hold on here. I'm gonna put you down for just a second. I don't know how good that is going to be. So, when it is colder, you put this all over the top of your pillow and then your head pops out of the little tunnel right here, kind of keeping it somewhat like a mummy bag and everything. Um, so if you're anyone that kind of has their arms up or like always has like their hand underneath their head or something like that, this comes in handy because then you're all covered up and everything and good to go. So and then one of the other things, I don't have it on right now because it was just too warm, is this little eyelet. There we go. So on that extra blanket that goes over the top of it, supposedly, again, like I said in the first video, it supposedly adds um, 30 degrees extra warmth. And it goes over the top of the whole sleeping bag and everything, connects us four of these little ringlets, um, one on each corner and everything so that it doesn't slide off. So this was, um, this was fine for last night, obviously. Um, when I slept in it the first time when it was below freezing, it was, it was not, but that's mostly because of myself. Um, I have a hard time manufacturing heat. So I'm looking for different ways to do stuff. That's why I want a power bank. Um, I haven't decided which one I'm going to get. So, um, if you guys have suggestions, um, please drop them. Now, remember that I'm in Montana, so a lot of times I'm going to be using this um, when it is cold. And so I know a couple brands are not very good at the cold temperatures and everything and have a hard time maintaining uh, battery life and everything. So, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Um, I probably need... Uh, kind of depends on, I really want to take my air fryer with me sometimes, and I definitely want to take that Keurig, and that Keurig is like, I think, 1800 watts. Um, so, I know some of them will flex up. They'll say that they're like a 1500, but they flex up to a certain wattage. So, we're definitely going to need to do a lot of research and everything. But, yeah, so I got a couple things uh, scheduled and everything for purchases, and then different... Uh, things we're going to be filming and everything so right there as you can see i got the truck ready that is actually um tonight i'm going to be filming part two 
which will be the third video that I'll be dropping of truck camping because I'm deciding what I want to do when I truck camp. So stay tuned for the next two for truck camping and uh, be ready to give some opinions on that one too. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to turn around and say uh, thank you for all the continued support. It means it means so much to me and it means so much to my boy Max here. Not that he really notices, but you know. <laughs> But anyways, um, like, subscribe, share, keep commenting and everything. Um, appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.